Welcome back. Now that the silly season is over, many of us are looking for ways to knuckle down and fight that summer bulge. Jane Kirtley, our Bay naturopath, is still with us. So Jane, yes, the, pre, the, the Christmas season is over. How are many of us feeling? Well, some will be feeling very refreshed, having had a, a great break, and I think there's always an element of that. But others are feeling um, quite run down, a bit lethargic, really because they ate and drank the wrong sorts of things over that season and probably have continued to do that. You know, So they're still in those habits of eating those foods and not getting the exercise that they really need to, um, to feel great, yeah. So why is it after a few weeks of feasting, and, and in a lot of ways it was probably a lot of weeks of fe feasting, because we often start early in December and, and don't really finish till after to New Year, after New Year. So many of us are, are lacking in energy. We're just feeling we haven't quite got the energy that we had before Christmas. Why is that? Well, one of the reasons is because eating the wrong sorts of foods doesn't provide us with the nutrients we need to make energy. So particular ones are the B vitamins and magnesium. Now they're very high in vegetables, very high in whole grains, very high in nuts and seeds. So you've, if you have more of those, you're gonna get more of the ingredients that help us make the energy. So making energy is not just about the food we eat, it's having those, um, those special ingredients that really sort of turn the cogs of energy making in our body, if you like. Mm. And, uh, and those ones are really important. So if we're depleted in those, we're gonna feel a bit under par. We may also feel a bit depleted, particularly alcohol, um, deplete zinc in the body. So that can affect our immune system. So we could have some kind of underlying, maybe very minor infection that just sort of bring us down. It's not too overt, but that would also um, affect the energy. But again, to do with the food we've been eating. So apart from the grains that you've mentioned, what other foods should we be focusing on as part of our diet for energy? Okay, def definitely um, water is probably your biggest thing. Right? Not exactly your food, but it is mm. the biggest, most important nutrient. If somebody is even 2% dehydrated, they're feeling a little bit lethargic, a little bit woolly in the head, that sort of thing. 10% dehydration, which isn't really very much, um, is enough to send you to hospital and hopefully somebody's going to have all the gear to, to help you survive. So you don't have to be very dehydrated to have that low energy and um, feel like life's, life's a bit tough, really. And w a water filter is actually probably one of those things that would be really important to invest in. And quite often, you know, we're always talking about our budget, aren't we? And, yeah. and, that, and, and expensive foods, uh, healthy foods are expensive foods. Well, a water filter is probably one of those things we should be spending our money on. Yeah, it's actually cheaper yeah. than sort of <coughs> buying lots and lots of bottled water. Mm. Just filter it yourself and then put it in um, a w your own water bottle. Um, and that's a, a and good way of it. more likely to drink it then too. More likely to drink mm. it, yeah, yeah. And you can use it in your cooking and all sorts of things. Um, and it can be used for all of the family. So you're just having that constantly all the time. Also fruits and vegetables, very important to be energy giving foods, yeah. Because quite often when you're eating fruits and vegetables, because they're not the carbohydrate, you don't feel full. So what's actually going on there um, with our minds I guess as to you know is this actually helping me it tastes good but I don't feel full afterwards you don't have to feel full you don't have to feel full to bursting that's some, some of the things if yeah. if a person's been overindulging they're used to having bigger meals but your body doesn't actually need that hence the extra bulge it's all the extra stuff you don't actually need so you don't have to feel full to bursting but you should feel about an hour after the meal you should feel pretty okay pretty satisfied but it might be your habit to have quite large portions and the wrong sorts of food so you're always feeling a bit oh a bit too stuffed basically yeah detoxing might be thing it might be something that's on people's minds right yeah. now after a festive season is that is a good is that a good idea well it, there's a lot of different detox um, diets and basically our body is brilliant at detoxifying it's got lots of organs to detox it's got the the bowels it's got the kidneys it's got the liver um, it's got the skin it's got our breathing okay so if we can get all of those working well we'll detoxify well, so the first thing is stop putting stuff in that your body sees as toxic. So you're saying that we don't need to detoxify because our body does it naturally. We well, need to change our diet. We need to change our diet, number one. Number one, stop putting the bad stuff in. The other thing is that your body may need extra help. So for instance, if you've 
um, had way too much alcohol or for other reasons your liver is not working so well, then for instance there's herbs that really help support the liver. Milk thistle is a lot of recent research on milk thistles being a brilliant herb to help detoxify. And there's other ones that help the bowel, the skin, the lungs. So they could be used, but number one, what do you call that? Suffers your diet, yeah, yeah. So detoxing is not necessarily a good idea. What about diets in general? How should we diet? And if so, how do we know which is the well, best one for us? Yeah, just sort of take you back. I think detoxing is a good idea, but it's just it should also be taking the bad stuff out, and that should be a lifetime move. So that's that's your constant thing. Dieting to lose weight, you've got to be careful if you um, want to lose weight. If you take those bad things out, you're more likely to be eating well anyway. Um, particular diets, you've got to be careful how you follow them, that you always get all the nutrients that you actually need. And different people need different sorts of diets. Some people will do very well on a high protein diet, some a high carbohydrate diet, some a high fat diet. It depends on the person's particular uh, metabolism to see how well they, they actually do in their health as a whole on a particular diet. And that's not including all the other different mm. nutrients that you get. And a lot of research actually showing how different we are and different sorts of diet people, diets that people need, not only to lose weight, but also for other health problems, like cardiovascular problems or mental health problems. Great, and just what lastly, how can people find out more? About um, about eating healthy. eating healthy. You've got a Basically, great website, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So if they go to www.baynaturopath uh, and have a look at that, or just look up Jane Kirtley on the web and you'll find me on the Google. And there's a lot of articles there about eating well and uh, how you can look after yourself better. And, and check out uh, See a Naturopath and um, yeah, find out right. more how to support Good yourself. Good focus for 2011. Is absolutely, just absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Thanks so much for coming on the show. You're welcome. <laughs> Jane Kurt Lee, our Bay naturopath, and of course that certainly is food for thought. That's all we have time for this week. Remember, we always like to receive your feedback and hear any of your ideas that you may have for stories to cover. You can uh, contact us, email us at news at tvcentral.co.nz and of course you can go to our website tvcentral.co.nz. You can upload photos and footage there. I'll catch you back Monday. You have a great weekend. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.